<laughs> Quig Man started a live video. You know this has been recording the whole time. Oh shit, really? Are you on? Are you on all? No- you're on your. Are you trying to go on all noise or trying to go on? Quig? No, I'm gonna just do it on the Quig Man because I have more followers. But uh. all right, all right, everything's recording. All right, three, cool. two, Good one. Get you're your guest. Come on, we'll make room. Hey, man, it's Quake Main, the one and only, the only, the only one ever, man. Hey, season two of In Noise, I'm sitting here with my co-host. Salvador Vinny, baby, because I'll be go. I can't even talk, damn. Be creating art. Salvador Vinny? Yeah. That's the one you came up with on the spot? I was looking around your house, Salvador Dolly. Oh, really. my God. <laughs> you picked the weirdest one to... <laughs> Damn, I feel like this is super close, but I like it. I know. <laughs> new, uh, new setup hey, for... Uh, hey, welcome to my house. This is my house. Uh, I'm so- oh, we also got um, Z Smoke here for season two. Actually, I go by the name Trapadilic Swag now. <laughs> I'm the artist formerly known as Z Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he doesn't have a mic, but he's just going to drink some um, lime White Claws, and we're going to vibe. Like I said, this is season two, man. Um... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first 10 episodes. Um, it was nice to take a break for like a week. Uh, it was much needed. Yeah, it really Vincey was. Vincey Poo went to the SD. Yeah, man. Just got back. Check out this uh, straight burn right here going on. Look like a goddamn head <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> Can't even see it in there, but fuck it. Oh, we, we also got Instagram Live going on right now. Oh, uh, we got a couple people in there. Yeah, I have it pulled up on my phone in oh, case yeah, anyone cool. says anything. It's delayed hella, though. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Um, yeah, we got the Instagram Live going. Season 2, Episode 11. Thank you for tuning in the last 10 episodes. It's been great. It's been splendid. I'm still spazzing on the goddamn motherfucking uh, mixer, but it's okay because I bought some new cords. Hopefully, that is the problem. Um, it probably isn't, but it's an excuse to buy new equipment because I've been complaining about it every single episode. Bro, you should see setup before we get all going. I've never seen this man more angry than doing setup. Well, I we do this right after I get off work. I mean, this time we're doing it. We're doing it late today. Yeah, I gave some time. Gave some time. I had Wednesday off. We're, we usually we do this on Mondays, but but it is Wednesday. It's it's Hump Day and um, Hump Day. And yeah, we didn't record an episode on Monday because shit's crazy um it's summertime so the sun's coming through it looks good it looks great we look heavenly right now um i have a mullet i look white trash I look like i have no money mullet boys baby he also has a mullet season two Bobby <laughs> hair going on okay. i'll fuck your mama see to hey. <laughs> 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 um let's get some tajin up in this bitch uh <laughs> motherfucking yeah so we vibing uh damn i forgot what i was gonna say um yeah man we're uh yeah, man, season two. It's crazy. It's, shit's been crazy, man. Shit's crazy, man. The last time I went to go record... Can I hit your vape, bro? Um, the last time I went to go record, it was raining on the highway. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker didn't crazy. show up. This is This is the start of it all. I'm kind of glad it happened. It was divine. I mean, it's, I'm not glad because I still have to pay $100 to replace my fucking thing. But I went to go to his crib to go record, and I was super pissed off. Good thing I didn't show up, because I was already pissed off, not <laughs> wanting to be alive. And halfway on the highway, my fucking windshield wiper, like, connector part, like, snapped. Damn. And it just, like, it went from, like, to stop, like, halfway through. And I kept flipping this motherfucker on. I'm like, oh, my God. And then I realized, I literally can't see anything. And I'm just on the highway going, like, high speeds on the highway. <laughs> So I'm fucking just cruising. I'm like, I can't, what the fuck? I can't do this. So I pull off and uh, yeah, the shit was broken. <laughs> I went to the goddamn O'Reilly's and the dude was like, it's probably this thing. It's snap. My motor's good, but uh, I have forfeited the podcast and um, we had a little bit of a rest, but that's okay. I needed it to be completely honest. Yeah. You know, I did too. I had a lot of figuring out to do in the past, uh, what, like week and a half, uh, we're back on it, season two. It's been a, it's been a, sh- a strange two weeks. I've it's it's been good, but it's been strange. Yeah, man, I haven't seen you. Yeah, been it's crazy. <laughs> we usually see each other every Monday, but it's been a while. It's been a, been a while <laughs> since I lost saw Vinci Poo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're at my house. This is the first time him being at my house. It's the first time you're seeing the inside of my house. It's kind of weird. I don't like it a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> life is life, and we gotta make bread somehow. So. Can we cheers to that? Making bread? 
Cheers, cheers. In other ways and not the podcast, because this doesn't make us any money. <laughs> yeah, this is it's just... the music, the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes us the money. Everything else. <laughs> the t-shirt that he's wearing. Yeah, buy uh, the Mew All Noise t-shirts on the website. Go cop them. I'm going to print some more. Got some a couple new logos in the works. Got a End Noise podcast uh, design in the works, too. I will have it done this week. He Sh- said that la- last two episodes, but it's okay. I forgive him because we had a break, and he went on a little vacation. Yeah, man. Just got back from San Diego on Monday. Woo! I, uh, that's what we're doing on Wednesday this week. I flew in. I woke up at 3 in the morning, went to the airport. Well, um, I wouldn't even say I slept, but I flew in 3 in the morning, went to work, came back. Was going to film the podcast. We decided to bump it to Wednesday, and then I went to Kennedy School, so I was just on one the whole time. on one. It's okay. I needed to not be on one because my body hurts and my brain was deteriorating, but um, I ate mushrooms, and we fucking... What a, I did all sorts of shit. I'm going to leave it at the mushrooms. We ate mushrooms, <laughs> and um, I'm enlightened. Um, I Yeah, a lot of uh, just... Soul seeking, I guess, just chilling. Dude, speaking of mushrooms, I brought a fucking eighth through uh, TSA. No, no way. No way. Yeah. How'd you, I, how'd you I was do like, it? I just put it in my suitcase. I didn't do anything. I literally was like, really? Yeah, because I forgot about it. Dude, that's that's how you get through a Zaza, bro. Wayne brought through like fucking weed and coke, I think, through TSA. <laughs> No shit. I have a homie who brought Shout out Wayne, through. by the way. I'm doing his merch this week. Yeah, shout out Wayne, the dog. <laughs> shout out Wayne. Um, yeah, my my, other, my I got I had a homie who did that once, and I was kind of baffled how he did it. But I, dude, they're looking for bombs. Yeah, no, and, and yeah, guns yeah, yeah. in in shanks. I, like the <laughs> motherfucker. He tried to hide it though. Like he put it in a sock, like a, inside of a sock. And you'd, you'd, you'd be crazy bro, not. To, I just I should have just like, threw that shit on the top. Was in my pocket, and I was like, oh yeah. As we're about to go in, I just bitch in there? opened the suitcase and just dumped it in and was like, hope for the best. <laughs> and they didn't... S- no. Damn, man. Well, he, got, he got like a pocket knife through that bitch, too. It was like a fucking big one. I don't man, know how TSA ain't doing their motherfucking job, man. <laughs> I walked in. I was going to like LA or something. I don't even know. I walked out. I didn't realize I was wearing my like patch pants that had fucking spikes all over them. <laughs> and like dangly things. And I walked through, and it was like, beep, 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 and everybody like looked at me, and I was like, oh, shit. I was alone, too. I was like, oh, fuck. And they were like, come here. I walked over, and they were like, what's happening? And I like lifted my shirt, and they are like, the dude looked at me. He was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, why would you wear it? I was like, dude, honestly, I don't know. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I walked out, dude. And he's like, you, uh, like, do you have any weapon? Like, he had to like search me. like, Bro, you got a whole me. strip tease. Like, I, uh, yeah, in front of everybody. I was like, Jesus like Christ. Somebody that like doesn't want to fuck up your vibe, but he's just like, dude, on, he, he fucked up my vibe. I was probably high. I was faded, I was faded as a hoe, faded as a hoe, faded as a hoe, faded as a hoe. Uh, yeah, man. TSA, man. Fuck TSA, man. Shout out all the TSA. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna finish what I was gonna say. Um, so yeah, you flew to San Diego, and what did you do in San Diego? Uh, well, you know, um, I was with my mom and her boyfriend, so it wasn't like anything crazy. I hit a bunch of breweries, but you know what? Those mushrooms. I took and went to the San Diego Aquarium. No, <laughs> that sounds awesome, dude. It's I, not the Fresno Zoo. <laughs> not the hippos. Um, <laughs> Call back <laughs> episode one, baby. Um, but no, so we uh, we went and did that, and then I, I'm like, I'm a high as fuck on mushrooms. And you, you guys ever? How seen much those? did you eat at the aquarium? Uh, I don't know. I redosed at one point, and my mom's boyfriend was taking some. Like I wasn't like they were just strong mushrooms, so I wasn't allowed to take a bunch, but. Um, we're in the gift shop, and I'm, <laughs> I'm in like a group chat with a bunch of like my like friends or whatever. Um, and you ever see those like tube things? They're like filled with water, and they have the. Dude, I instantly knew what <laughs> I instantly knew what you're gonna say because I feel like you get those at aquariums. I got my penis stuck bears. in one. One Every, time. A lot. I feel like okay, <laughs> that's not a crazy statement either because I feel like a lot of dudes have put their cocks in the little squishy fucking. What what the f- I whatever you call those. I don't even know what you call those. Mini a- <laughs> Dude, it's basically the It's pretty much a it's pretty much a um book fair pocket pussy. No, nah, man, but it was a it was fucked. <laughs> I had to <laughs> I, 
I had to go to the merge room. I was like 13. They had to like cut it off. No way. You could have cut that motherfucker off. Uh, dude, it was tight. Are you lying? Is this another hippo this story? This is another hippo story. <laughs> You're a fucking cocksucker. <laughs> this motherfucker. This is why I needed to take a break from this cocksucker. <laughs> He's fucking <laughs> talking about sticking his dick in one of those motherfucking squishy things. It was fucking... Oh my God. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I see two flights uh, over there. Two flights doing. Shout out two flights. Um, fuck you. He needs to come through and record features. Hey man, too short. Too f- too short. <laughs> What's up? Too short. Um, you're distracting me. Don't stop talking about features. Um, so Sa- San Diego. Uh, yeah, the whales. Vagina. What else did you do in San Diego? Um, I went swimming the ocean at one point. Saw no effects in their last. Okay, tour. that's a big one. Yeah, dude, that shit was wild. They had to end early. They never admitted they ended early. They're supposed to play till eleven. They were done at nine thirty, because that shit was about to be a riot. First of all, in the pit, dude. Yeah, well, it was beforehand. It was ten thousand people. First off, ten thousand. Wait, where people. was this? Was it at like a convention center? Where was it? It was at? out at the waterfront. It would basically be the equivalent of them doing it at the waterfront at Portland. Like that was. Dude, so ten thousand. Wait, ten thousand people. Wait, is it the is it the whole tour that is it just them or is it the whole tour that we're trying to go see? It's it's that tour, it's but no, it's ten thousand people just at that show. Oh my and god! First of all, they did unlimited beer tasting from twelve. To oh 30. my god! So they just got a bunch of these like older what like, drunk the fuck punks. Like shit was wild. I almost Punk got in a fight. Public, I guess. Dude, people were literally throwing. People were getting too fucked up in the pit, and people were just taking them by their arms and legs and throwing them out. <laughs> there was fights left and right, dude. Shit was crazy. What the fuck, dude? That's that's fucking punk and drumlick. Yeah. I Holy know. shit, yeah. bro. You know no effects? You fucking no effects? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of my homies listens to that. Yeah, no effects. Yeah, everyone's got that one homie. Yeah, right? everybody, <laughs> has, everybody has a homie who's super into no effects. No effects is lit. One of the best fucking punk bands ever. And people are probably going to hate me for saying that, but it's true. I'm going to say they're the best punk band to exist. Hey, man. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that, but it is <laughs> very... It's, it is bold, but it's not... It's, it's bold. It's what Fat Mike would say. It's as bold as what the things Fat Mike Dude, says. You know, growing up, everyone said Fat Mike was my real dad, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> what if Fat Mike was your dad? <laughs> You just walk in and it's Fat Mike just like doing his weird BDSM like butt plug <laughs> things on it. You know, yeah, he's wearing like a women's thong. I'd be like, "Hello, father." Yeah, nah. Um. So yeah, that the, that that show was cool. I think it was lit. Dude, it was tight. Do you didn't get stabbed or anything? No, I almost got in a fight. There's this dude that was like hella drunk and he had all this room right, and it was during um the Descendants, I believe. And he Another kept like really good punk band. bunking, bumping like back into me. So I had my arms up, and I'm like, "Dude, you have all this fucking room." So finally, I said something, and I was like, "Cool," but I was like, "Hey, bro, like, back the fuck up, yeah. you know?" And then he kept doing it, so I fucking like full on shoved him. And then he got over. He's like, "It's a punk show, blah blah." I was like, "I don't give a fuck. Like, get off my like dick, bro." What the and, fuck? And um, so I'm literally standing next to my mom's boyfriend, and he starts talking shit. And I hand him my fucking drink, and I just like grab him. And I'm like, do you want to fucking do this? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I have no issues with you. Just back the fuck up. You're a drunk idiot. Yada, yada. Mm. And uh, he ended up leaving after that. So, yeah. Oh, you punked him out? Dude, I punked out of some 40-year-old dude. Yeah. <laughs> it had a no effect show. You went with your mom. He's like, he's like I'm going to walk, <laughs> I'm gonna walk <laughs> away. <laughs> it's all old dudes, too. I'm one of the youngest ones there. Like, your motherfucker was. Welcome back. Start shit. Ah, yep. Episode routine. Cracker? ASMR. Another mic. You want some hummus, bro? Oh, hummus? Celebration, bro. It's a celebration. We're back. We're on the airwaves. Motherfucker saw no effects. We're going to go see no effects. Uh, hopefully, I buy my ticket. Um, I will buy my ticket. Yeah, fucker, buy your ticket. I've been talking to you about it for months. Dude, do you know how poor I am? We're going to go to the scene of FX in Tacoma, and hopefully it's a lot better than being stuck around 10,000. I mean, there probably might be 10,000. I don't know. There's, they're doing two shows. It's not yeah, San the two Diego. Show, the it's t- not, they're a California band. You're right. It is Tacoma. <laughs> Tacoma. Ta- 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 Compton. we're talking about. Ta- Compton. Ta- um Yeah, it's, it should be sick, and maybe I'll do a vlog or something. I don't know. I'm the worst at vlogs dude do vlogs. a car vlog i'm literally taking the van and just loading everyone that wants to go in it 
if w- w- us going, I will do some sort of video content. It will be a vlog type of them. Yeah, be sick. Dude, get a ticket. <laughs> I, I got, I got I room. Go I got room. Get a ticket. You know how much Anyone tickets that's are? wants to go, I'm living. How much do you think the tickets are? Bro, if it's over 100, I'm not going. <laughs> I, I think it's about 100. I think it's 100. Dude. I got mine for 60. Okay, bro. listen. Listen, it's all. Right, who's open all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Like, I, they have to have, like, we're just talking. We're it's talking. It's all old cat punk shit. It's like descendants. It's the adolescence. It's like hella. Dude, you'll have fun, though. It's free Dude. beer tasting from 12 to 3. Yeah, you get, every one of their fucking concerts? I think they might have to. Bro, that's like a it's selling the, point. For it's, the punk, it's, the yeah. punk, it's the Punk and Drublick tour. They had an album called Punk and Drublick. And it was like. Oh, okay. So, so it was like. Dude, every, they you want get a everybody. ticket, you have a ride. Okay, fuck yeah, dude. That'd be hilarious. I'm going to fucking Tacoma then. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, Jul- well, I'm going, so they have two days. I'm going July 23rd, which is a Sunday. We're going to go Sunday because it has the best you bands too. Good news is I got Mondays off of work now. I'm working four days. Hey, bro. I, I work at 10 a.m. that Monday. I don't give a oh, fuck. Yeah. I can get that Monday off. I don't give a flying it's, shit. It's NoFX last tour. If you don't even fuck with NoFX, it's still the last time we're going to see some... Punk shit, you know. Right, that's like, literally I the my reason. Homie that lives out in Idaho, he he fucking literally like would listen to them and force all my friends. To Idaho, dude, not make too him far. make him pull up. He can get in the van too. I got room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want some hummus, dog? Oh, uh, you know, yeah. Let me get a little, let me get a little smack on that ha- Hamas. Hamas, shout out Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> this is um. <laughs> what's the fucking shit we were talking about haram, haram? What's, what's the other one halal. halal this is halal wait i think i think hummus is halal halal is blessed by god i'm pretty sure that is fucking fire that shit is really good fucking grocery outlet bargain market <laughs> um my fucking i'm pretty sure hummus is halal hummus is halal food it's not haram <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm so bad. Haram? Well, it is. <laughs> Haram is bad. What do you think about that? Haram. Haram. <laughs> Chamoy. <laughs> shout out Chamoy. <laughs> oh, shout out fucking uh, Mankato for now, and shout out who the fuck is Walker? We do. We gotta get Walker Chamoy. on. He's been tripping balls about getting on. I know. Everybody has. We're kind of a big deal. No, man. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For is li- yeah. It's literally. <laughs> It's literally just our friends being like, dude, what the fuck? What you're, when are you, what the fuck, man? And I'd be like, dude, I don't know. <laughs> be, you see what's happening right now? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you. It'd be fun to do a live set where we just invited all of our friends and like, dude, we should do a roast of Vincent Quigg and just have all no. of our friends come up and say some shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh <my God>. but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone that asks you in the pod can just come up and say their shit. <laughs> it's if almost like an audition um, for them to get on the pod after that. If we get 100 subscribers on the YouTube, on the In Noise Clips page, you, the In Noise Clips channel, we, we could do that. All right. 100 subscribers. Oh, we have an editor now, right? Is we do have an editor. Yeah, I told him to hold off on editing clips because we're doing whatever. And he's going to do uh, edits for the All Noise podcast, too. So I'm going to like work them on both so i was just gonna do a couple um i'm not gonna say who the first guest is but i have one locked in and i'm trying to figure out the date and it's gonna be super soon so as soon as that comes out i'm gonna make a couple clips from that and get in the flow and then just start just start making clips every episode do i know who it is um it's the kid it's the kid (laughs) yeah he does it's the kid um i think i don't know carve he goes by carve it's the kid in uh the discord no i meant your guest not Oh you, yeah, you know the editor because I told you that. Shout out Carve. I think that's his name. Yeah, let's. We should get. We should get him on to at be, some point. That'd be to, cool. I was. Yeah, I'm supposed to like, hop in a call with him. I've just been fucking whatever. Um, you do know the the guest of the first episode. Do you? Did I tell you? Chamoy. I spilled the beans because you're my roommate. <laughs> you get a, you get allowed top secret information if you spill it. Hey, I'll, I know I'll where you live. Here, will you let me know? Like yeah, a, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, it's like we, we have like a party. It's just a Reddit page. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, like I don't know where this is going. It's just a subreddit, and I'm just like copy and pasting like fucking green text. <laughs> I'm just like sliding you a dossier. I'm like, it just has like four words on it. 
Um, cool, man. Yeah, shit. Oh, dude, I was going to put the instant fails on. Let me put these pop up. Um, yeah, man. San Diego, that was cool. Yeah, um, how's life regardless? Uh, how's life beyond that? Well. You excited about anything? Been interesting. I'll say that. Yeah. Oh, no. From off air, from what you told me, you know. Yeah. This thing, hey man, this is this is life is freaky, man. Shit happens behind closed doors. Things happen you don't know. A lot of things happen behind <laughs> closed doors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, don't ask about that. But uh, that's good, man. I'm glad. Yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy. Just got back from San Diego. Honestly, I feel like this the past two weeks just kind of like I blinked. And then I came back and look here I'm sitting at your house. That's the fuck. That's the fucked up thing with time. To be completely honest, how caught up is your um, thing? It's uh, it's not super caught up. No one's watching it right now, anyway. People joined and left. One person. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Mitchell joined earlier. Well, a bunch of people joined and then just left. That's the thing with live streams. I mean. I guess I do the same thing with live streams. Oh, yeah, do you, I do, I do, do, do you chill with, on live Unless streams? Unless like, hopeless or, like, so, am I mixing engineer or, like, so, somebody I know, like, personally, like, I'll, I'll indulge in watching all. Someone you have, like, an invested interest? Yeah, yeah. That's I watch, like, YouTube uh, live streams of uh, various people sometimes. Um, do you know who Tim Dillon is? You know Tim Dillon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So his old podcast producer um, and co-host, Ben Avery, got fired. Do you know about that whole thing? Can I hit that again? He got fired for some reason, and he started his own podcast, and it's fucking hilarious. It's called Lemon Party. Is it for sure? Oh, yeah, you sent me Lemon Party. Dude, Lemon Party's the hardest, one of the hardest podcasts. Um, He does these live streams that are fucking hilarious, called Beeping Vest live stream. Like a like a suicide bomber beeping vest, <laughs> and he just has like a little image of a uh, Peter Griffin in the bottom, just like drinking a beer. It's the funniest <laughs> thing. Um, so yeah, shout out Ben Avery. If we get Ben Avery on the show, that would be a super highlight. Um, live streams though, so I watched that or like fucking Sam Hyde live stream. I'm outing myself as a Sam Hyde watcher <laughs> right now, but uh, I have a shout literally, out. Literally, like quite honestly, those are the only two that I watch any sort of live streams with. I got a shout out. What's your shout out? Shout out Dr. Do. Shout out <laughs> Dr. Do, bro. I was thinking about him before recording. Do you know Dr. Do? Dude, we could probably put a... No, nah, that's copyright. I don't want to... Oh, we could put on Do. Uh, you have to listen to him, though. You have yeah, to listen yeah, to him yeah. explain the situation whenever he does his videos. <laughs> explain the story arc of him leading up to drinking exactly. nine Mountain Dews in a row. <laughs> bro, there was like a weird like pedo scare or something. There was like this weird thing on the Discord. Did you see that that no. one day? <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to indulge. I think someone was like a plant and trolled a bunch of people. and like s- It wasn't a pedo thing. It said like a bad word. And then like it was some troll. It was fucking weird. I was like, whoa, shit's popping off. Today, someone was like, oh, uh, send pe- uh, feet pictures. And one dude was like, yo, what? And he was like, sorry, wrong Discord. <laughs> that, was on, that was on that Discord? I saw that. That was earlier today. I was like, that is funny as fuck. I was like, that's that's definitely also a troll. I feel like there's like, you're not going to like accidentally put send, send bobs in the Discord. S- send, yo, send a doggy. Oh, send the doggy. What's your guys' opinion on feet? I fucking hate them, man. My opinion is my Instagram is Z Smoke PDX. <laughs> <laughs> my phone number is. <laughs> I love how he just like instantly got so close to that motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, I got something to say. That's crazy. Feet Bro, is weird. I, I'm not into weird. feet, but I won't lie. I'd put, I'd put some toes in my mouth. Uh, no. No. I, you, I, yeah. 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 I'd put the dogs in the mouth if Dude. if they're nice and washed they dogs. Would be, they would have to be like nice, pristine, fucking clean. Oh, what? You think I'm just taking some fucking <laughs> These boots are meant for walking, baby. Uh, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd do it. Ah, bro, I couldn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something about it, bro. Is it like the beginning of the day? Or is it like... <laughs> is it, have they just worked like a 10-hour shift? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> they I just it. got off. It was a rough day. <laughs> Been our feet for 18 hours. Sweaty feet. <laughs> no, nah, man. Like, I'm saying clean. I'm not going to fucking put no toes in my mouth if they're fucking smelling like. But would you? I'd do it. Yeah, I'd fucking do it. <laughs> I know you would. 
<laughs> I was gonna say because you're an Aries, but I don't want br- to. I don't want to bring astrology into this. Bro, bring astrology. I like when you got the astrology rants. You like it? You like it? Whoa! Hey, sorry about my OneDrive. Try Microsoft 365 Family. Dude, fuck Microsoft. Dude, okay, wait. I'm gonna chill. I almost just spat so hard right there on a Microsoft rant. Shocker. I'm really trying to watch myself because you know. This is a con. This is content, and I can't spaz too hard about a specific thing. If you want to see me spaz, though, this is some official information. Actually, we're gonna switch over to the Patreon, I think, instead of Gumroad. It's just Gumroad is just a little niche, a little too niche for people. I don't think people understand what a Gumroad is. People understand Patreon more, and there's more people on Patreon. So if you want to see me spaz about the elites and the pedal ring that the government <laughs> um, <laughs> oh subscribe to the Patreon. I'm going to, I'm going to officially make the Patreon probably after this actually. And then we will put stuff on there. I promise. <laughs> I'll be getting drunk after this. Yes. And then driving drunk home. Just kidding. We won't do that. I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive drunk to heaven, boys. <laughs> I'm already home. So. Hey, yeah, it, no worries, man. I'll drink a Celsius right here on my motherfucking couch because I ain't fucking homeless. I miss when you were. <laughs> you, you wish, when, you yeah, wish I, I was I, homeless I, again. I miss so it. we could do the car cast. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we're still see. Back to the car. I'm you, <laughs> uh, season three. Um, season three. If you want it in Quake's car, let us know. <laughs> There's these dudes in Seattle when I was living in Seattle that uh, took a U-Haul and or they bought a U-Haul. They probably broke the suspensions on it, but they did shows like in the park out of a U-Haul, Dang. which is a pretty like you know. I feel like seen, that's I like a hype. Somebody do that. I seen Bird Bennett do something like that. Oh right, Bird. Bird's hard. Shout out Bird Bennett. I'm going to get him on the podcast at some point. I was going to shoot a music video for him at some point. I'm for sure still going to do that. But uh, shout out Birdman. Bird, Bird's cool as shit. He did that in front of that uh, his work. Or he works at that, like, yeah, the, the ball. Oh, it was in front of the... I don't know. It was like over, I don't know. They, he, it was at one location, and then they moved it to... Yeah. I think he works at that, like, basketball place. Where they like sell jerseys and shit? I don't know. I'm not fucking champs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> famous footwear. <laughs> no fucking uh, Birdman works at famous. Birdman. Uh, no, Ball is Life. I think that's what it's called. It's free advertisement, I guess. Ball is Life on. I'm not gonna say the street. You have to figure that out. I'm gonna um, say it right now. Ball is not life. Yeah. What you do with balls is what makes. I got. Life. B- I, I got a couple ball. I got a couple balls on me. Of balls are life. I'm working at the Golden Dragon now. You can catch me. <laughs> Why do we have him on the podcast? <laughs> um, but motherfucker, <laughs> I was gonna say we used to do U-Haul shows, but I don't even want to do that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, do U-Haul shows, but do it in the back of the Subaru. <laughs> Dude, with, fuck with, it with the car stereo speakers. <laughs> it's like half blown out. <laughs> I wanna do I wanna I wanna be on some uh some uh no limit shit and just pop a trunk and sell fucking t shirts and goddamn We talked about doing that. I know. A long time Why ago. are we we we're we, like we're type pussies. Type, you know, like old, yeah, old No old Limit, Master P and like yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Dude Make them say uh When I started uh, the end game I literally would fill a bunch of t shirts and uh Safeway like bags and walk around the mall and sell them to mall rats. That was that's a good idea, but people don't no, be hanging out terrible. malls like that. It was that. a terrible idea. This I was in 1982. Hey, no, I was making money. That's not the demographic that's going to have money. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just saying until I started, you know. It's like a... Broke people walking around malls. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, actually, no, I'm not even walking around a goddamn mall. The When's the last time you've been in a mall? The last time I went into a mall... I've been to a couple malls within the last five years, but last time I went into a mall, it was... That <coughs> that one episode I said that one dude that got canceled for uh, uh, touching girls or something. He ran this this uh, mall, this like pop up thing in the mall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I think oh, I was. Oh, he ran that. Well, remember, I don't think you know who I'm talking about. No, I do. I know the. I I know if if you didn't tell me about it, someone else did. But I know who you're okay. talking about. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna start no. some shit right now. <laughs> I'm gonna start some. All right, shit. all right, fuck. <laughs> 
When the first time I uh, I like you know tried to apply for a market was Urbanite or whatever the fuck it was. That shit, this motherfucker ran and said, mm, I don't think you have a uh, set demographic. You know what I did? I started my own fucking pop-up two weeks later and made $2,000. So Mr. Touches Girls, guess what? Suck my cock, bro. Suck my right. suck my yeah, yeah, yeah. cocky. Is it the same guy we're thinking of? Yes, it's the All same right. dude. I'm just going to agree. You got a soundboard right now. Like, <laughs> <"What>? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you. <laughs> Coming very soon, there will be a <coughs> there will be a soundboard, and I figured out how to do it, and it's fucking lit. And I, I, I so we need to think of sounds. I want to think of like, fuck. I had a really good one earlier. <coughs> I want like King of the Hill sounds or like yeah, Chamoy. Bobby. God, <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Bobby. I want like you know. Every time I say some wild shit. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> okay, how about this, yo? This is a call out to the people who actually want to be involved with this. If you want to highlight and soundbite and like clip sounds and send us funny sounds in the Discord, I will add them to the soundboard to play our own shitty like sound effects. Just like pretty much what he's saying. Like if someone says anything remotely funny. Quake doesn't check it and someone drops an N bomb. Oh, it's like, <laughs> well, I would have to check it because. <laughs> That would. <laughs> that would that would you think That's it's a, you think it's going to happen in season three? Is that your prediction? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see. <laughs> mm, trust your intuition. Honestly, I don't know when. I don't know when. I don't know. We'll probably end up fighting each other before getting canceled. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> That's a running joke. That's, hey. the, that's the inside joke of the show. Actually, speaking of that, I've dropped 15 pounds. Sh- I'm cutting to that up. 170, cuz. Oh, he's getting close to that. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where, where are we gonna meet at? How much taller are you than, than Cliff? I, I think we're pretty much. What are you? I'm like 5'10. Yeah, you got like a. No, wait. Cliff's got like 5'11. I mean, this isn't. I got a. I probably got a little bit more than you. That's not an accurate representation. We have to stand back to back, but I probably have a little bit more than you. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I'm on five ten, so I don't know. You think we have the same body type? <laughs> Bro, let's show. Him. Oh, we're getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Put your shirt on, boys. Shit, <laughs> shit's getting a little weird around here. Um, man. I don't want to fight you. I also want love. I, th- I thought I was cutting weight for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like supposed to. I, was like, <laughs> Dude, I haven't eaten in five days. I was like, damn, I do need to. I probably do need to gain some weight. Just a little bit. Bro, meet me at 170. I've been eating a lot of avocados lately, so. Uh, How much are you weighing? 170. Uh, 195. Bro, I bet you I'm 170 right now. Did I. W- I didn't wait. No, we never did it. The, way, the, the, s- the scale didn't work, right? No, we just never stepped on it. I stepped on it, but I don't think it was working. No, it was working. It works just fine. I stepped on it this morning. Did I even step on it? Dude, I haven't weighed myself, but I believe I'm pushing like 235 right now. Probably. Bro, <laughs> I, w- I got up to 240 during COVID. I was fucking... You got to 240? Damn. Yeah. I got to like 275... Went on keto for like fucking eight months or something, lost a hundred pounds, and then like had surgery, gained like fifty pounds back, and I'm just chilling at that. Like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like at least I lost a little bit of stayed up. Pounds? That's crazy. Yeah. No, yeah, I've done the I've done the whole keto thing a couple of times. I got down last time I did keto. What the fuck is keto? No mm-hmm. carbs. Yeah. yeah it's like no carbs and a lot of fat. I'm Irish. I can't do that. Bro, I'm Irish. Bro, Starch Boys for life. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Starch Boys. Name of the episode right there, Starch, baby. Yeah, Starch Boys for life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Season 2, episode 11, Starch Boys for life. But nah, man. Drop some weight. I'm coming for you, Quest. Dude, I bet you I'm around 170. See, you don't even have to do anything. You just gotta wait till I hit there. Should we get a date set? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> he starts working out. You're just chilling, like, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can I hear your vape? I should just fucking uh, appreciate it. Starch Boys. Starch Boys. Starch Boys. That's, that's the new gang. Starch Boys. Man, potatoes. <laughs> potatoes fucking rule, bro. Only half Irish, bro. 
<laughs> well, that's best. Not yeah, yeah, man, I would not have guessed. <laughs> You're still starch boys. That's still starch boys, you know. 50% Mexican. Look, uh, <laughs> got the Mexican yeah, Irish in you. That shit died. Um, oh, shit, it died? No, mine did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just cool. Like, oh, yeah, Vince, Vince kills everything he touches. <laughs> That's not wrong. Even my self esteem. <laughs> we're 40 minutes in. I haven't had, had to pee yet. Oh, man. We got to get the true or false questions going when you got to. That's a whole segment here. Every Make- time I go and pee, he. Do we want to interview Z Smoke for a second? Yeah, yeah, we have a guest. We <laughs> just we even gave him the mic. Who are you? Where are you from? Hey, I go by the name Z Smoke. I'm from a small town like 40 minutes south of Portland. It's called Canby. It's kind of cringy, but yeah, I'm from there. <laughs> a lot of country bumpkins um, and Mexicans and Russians. That's, that's about it. <laughs> so you grew up in Camby, like yeah. born and raised in Oregon. There's a bunch of Mexican and Russians in Camby. Dude, it's it's like it's like 66 percent of like our high school was like Mexicans or Russians, and I don't speak Spanish at all. So I was just chilling with the white kids growing up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's funny you mention that because I was always chilling with the Mexican dudes, but I didn't speak Spanish. Really yeah. Black, <laughs> you're just <laughs> over here like not understanding 50 percent of the conversation. Yeah, you're just chill, just, you're yeah, like, like yeah. chilling. <laughs> Bro, when I went to school in California, actually, they used to, like, um, I lived, like, near, like, a bunch of, like, farming area, and they would bring in peppers for me to try and see if I could handle them. <laughs> really? That was the joy of the day, to see if a white boy could handle the peppers. Bro, and I, I peppered all those motherfuckers. God damn. So, Camby, um, do you, do you ever want to, like, leave Oregon? Um, honestly, probably not. I left Oregon, like, two years ago and did not have a great time i went to indiana lived there for like two two months well that's your first problem you went to indiana. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude the, like it was even like little things like the air quality just like i was just like not about it's it bro. Bad air. i could not fucking sleep either for some reason i think it was because i was homesick or some shit that's like that odd. And, bro, the water Florida is not good, bro. Dude, like, that shit leaves, like, fucking marks on the dishes type shit. Yeah. Like, like, like there's some fucking heavy metals in that bitch. Shout out Flint, <laughs> Michigan. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so. Shout out Flint, Michigan. Shout out Flint. Yeah. Do you like traveling? Would you go, um, go on a, like, tour? Are you interested oh, in going yeah. on tours and stuff? Hell yeah, dude. Like, West Coast. Where would you want to go? West Coast, and maybe, like, New York. There's a hyper-pop scene out in New York. I got invited to, like, a show out there, but I couldn't do it because I was moving here. But Right, so hopefully, you... Hopefully going to do a show with Bateki soon out in New York. Nice. Uh, so you make music, and what got you interested in doing hyper-pop? Ooh, shit. I don't even know. I just heard the, I heard the beat to Road Rage just off of YouTube and shit, and I just, like, fucking... I was like, oh, I gotta make a song right now. I could probably put that, put like a s- sample of that in this too, because I have that saved to my computer. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, but yeah, after yeah. Road Rage, like, I recorded Road Rage and the way it all worked out, and those are my top two stream songs right now in the same day. It's a good and one. Fr- from from those, like, I just hyper pop and never looked back, bro. Dude, I want to go on tour with everyone, like, all of, like, that group like when you did that oh, shit the with Lord Lawrence one the Opal Roller T one yeah that'd be fun to just go dude that shit everyone. was crazy um well he knowing Lord Lawrence shout out Lord Lawrence the motherfucking dog knowing him he's going to like do that very soon <laughs> like I guarantee you he just announced a show with Fishnark and Yawns dude I couldn't read that <laughs> not read that <laughs> like, i don't yeah, know who's bro. Bro. do you know fish narc <laughs> yes i do I, I just could not read it i saw gbc and i was like okay it's somebody from there but like <laughs> literally the flyer the headline you can't fucking read that shit because his yeah his logo is like water it looks like water <laughs> <laughs> it's sick but no nah, i mean i want to go on tour i want to do some fucking vending so what i want to say is he was like dude he was Man, I love I love Lawrence. He's the sickest dude. He's one of the sickest dude, dudes yeah. I've ever met. He was like, dude, it wasn't the same without you. Like, he's like, fuck, man. It's like I wanted, I really wanted to go on this tour, but 
there will be another one, and I'm definitely going on the next one, and I can bring you, and if you have the van, yeah, we can for sure fill the, the shit in the van, and we can just sleep in the van. You gotta get me on this next fucking tour, bro. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be probably just tag along with yeah. us. Fuck it. If you, Fuck the th- the deal is, is even make the same music, so I get it. But like, right, no. but you know, who knows? You'll be there. You, the thing is, is like the networking and just being there and experiencing it all. Like, as long as we have like a spot to crash and sleep, that's all that really matters. That and food. You know, you can s- not swindle, but you can like get your way into anything by just like being there. If you have, if you can handle yourself and be independent and like pay your own food or drive or whatever, you can go anywhere. Most people will be like, "Yeah, come with me." Yeah, sure. We got invited at our fucking party that we had here, the welcoming party. For sure, it's like we could we could have gone, but it's just like you know. It just doesn't make sense, like as an artist, to like go on tour for like even if like I'm really good friends with Wayne and shit. Even though he's but on the tour. but if you're hitching a ride or something and you're like spending like a less money than like the person like me I spent money I did make money back though but like you you would lose money I would lose a lot but of money. Yeah. you could do it frugally where it's still worth it just I, to chill you know I would have to have like merch or some shit to like get some out. sort of something or self features yeah, that, on the I mean that's why it's like realistic for like us to go or at least me I know he's doing he does like a lot of video shit for me it would be like oh, I need to sell merch while I'm going this and that. But when you don't sell merch at a show, you're like, fuck. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't sell anything on the last show because nobody really showed up on that Dang, last one. Really? Be- at the Lord show? Yeah, because it was... Um, Bro, I would have bought some. <laughs> it was fucking. I know you would have. It's a motherfucking uh, Super Bowl Sunday, too. Oh. So, like... And it was right after... Oh, it was right after, like, a three-day hardcore fest. So, like, the venue was, like, super tired and it was, like, two people came. But we had fun. It was lit. And then I drove all the way back to Portland from Tacoma. But a tour is crucial. Tour, like, I want to do some ass pizza shit where you, like, pick a couple spots and be like, hey, I'm going to pop up here. But you need a bit of a fan base for that. Does it make sense to do, like, not a tour, but, like, I was thinking about going to, like, taking hyper pop artists to, like, California new york and then back home like all in one weekend i would say the it's distance like the distance makes it like that would be really hard we to would do. have to do like a flight there flight back to california but if you can pack you would have to book venues and have them you know have sound techs at that point unless you're trying to fly sound techs and shit that the only place that has like sound techs for like hyper pop artists is in new york they, okay. they have it all figured out pretty much like they're like a, a step ahead of like portland for sure that's what i'm actually have, like, a community going that's what i'm trying to get started like th- this summer i got a, actually got a concert on uh june 30th it's gonna be a hyper pop showcase oh yeah i'm vending that i'm vending yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah i'm gonna be there yeah we got a couple vendors um it's gonna be great you should pop out rainbow city right mm-hmm. rainbow city june 30th my album's gonna release on that day too spacesuit tundra yeah. tune in <laughs> and the I don't know if I brought this up to you, but the day before, I'm going to Eugene to do a pop-up with Zuko, and I don't know if he hit you up, but he barely hit me up. He didn't it. hit me up. He, I, uh, Grit hit me up about it, <coughs> um, but that's the 29th, and I'm sure you can come. I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. I'm sure he'll I'll, I'll shoot Zuko. Yeah, it doesn't like, you will come. Is it, is it a black market, or is it... No, it's... It's... It's a... Uh, um... Hold on, let me think about it. It's a uh, motherfucking Kimmet Dank. Do you know Kimmet Dank? No. Yeah, yeah. Kimmet. Oh, it's a cat skin Kimmet Dank show. Oh, okay, I know cat skin. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, hell yeah, I'm going, bro. I'm yeah, okay, going. okay, I had to piece it together. Cat skin Kimmet Dank show that it's, I think it's like a black lung cat skin Kimmet Dank show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm for sure going to that. So Eugene the 29th and then. Uh, Z Smoke Show at Rainbow City the 30th. It's going to pop off. Go to both of those, please. Eugene, Portland. Come on. Both c- cities need some sort of action. You know, Eugene for sure. There's nothing happening from Eugene. And if you want something to do, the Cat Scan Kim at Dank Show is very crucial. I hope I didn't just leak it. I didn't even know what was going on. Bro. Yeah, this is news <laughs> to me, dude. Maybe. Well, I've known about it for a little, not too long, but for a little bit. I probably leaked it, but it's okay. Fuck well, it. Well, shit. If I if uh, Zuko hits me up about going, I'll 
I'll fucking drive yeah. a little the man. I'm I'm pretty sure it's like set, so I, I don't know. I yeah, don't, I probably can't I, get into it, but if I'm, I can, I'm the I'm the great sage. I'm here to bring wisdom, and I just want to uh, spill the beans. I guess I have to pee now. So I'm gonna I want to hand the mic over. Here, put put the headphones on. Listen to yourself. All right, one of my favorite segment of the episodes when we have guests. <laughs> this is what he goes. To. <laughs> Let's see here. True or false? Mm. You've put peanut butter on your balls before. False. True or false? When Quake's sleeping, sometimes you go in his room and watch him. True. That'd <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> be fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> True or false, you've hated every guest that we've had on before you. True. <laughs> Shout out Grant, Zuko, <laughs> no, uh, <bro>. Jaga. <laughs> I'm just here to stir pots. No, nah, for real, Grant is fucking hard as fuck. Dude, dude. that was my favorite episode. Literally, his song Marvin Gaye, like I had that shit on repeat for a fucking Oh, yeah, because he does the hyper pop shit, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like... It's He's a little in there. there. Yeah. It's like rage, I, I think. I don't even know what he would call it. Yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not super, like, familiar with that scene. So, I, I just, uh, like, you know, you when you kind of group everything together. Yeah. yeah, it's like a broad term for a lot of shit. For so, sure. Yeah. Any genre of music, really, like, is yeah. a broader term until you get, like, dissected yeah. and what have you. Um, But, damn. Yeah, no, Grit's tight. I like Grit. Grit's a good dude. Makes music. I'm going to do we'll something dirty, soon. stinky, and nasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so back to um, my fucking interview. You can, you want to wear those? I don't give a fuck. I, 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 I see what's going on, man. We're we're reaching an hour, but we can keep going a little bit longer if you want to keep yeah, going. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll just write out. I feel like I feel like conversation's dying a little bit, but let's uh, um, keep going. What do, you, do you have anything in store music-wise? Do you... Any, any more shows? Or? Well, I just made this collab song with Quag <laughs> and and uh, Kai. I guess we could show it, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> After the episode, show me. I want to hear it. This is the first like rap song I've made in like three years or some shit like that. Like I would call it kind of hyper pop. We haven't glitched it out at all. Right? I mean, we can. It, it, we can, but it, it's like rap kind of, yeah. you know. Living with me, you bring the rap out. Yeah. You know, start wanting to rap. I'm gonna fucking you listen. smell like doo doo. <laughs> you smell like, like doo doo. You smell like poo poo. Yeah. Bars. Bars. <laughs> Motherfucking bars. Um, yeah, just new shit, man. We got the crib. We got the. We got White Boy Going Crazy by uh, Colby Rue. Oh, shout out Colby Rue. <laughs> white Boy Going Crazy. <laughs> hey, man, I got that poor person. Uh, white person, I got that poor white person haircut right now, bro. That's the straight most gender from, neutral haircut you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Damn, we we are. <laughs> We are in Seattle, bro. What the fuck, bro? I didn't know this was Capitol Hill. <laughs> That's a haircut of a man that lived in the back of a Subaru for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> it's drip, though. Yeah, hey, man. Ooh, hey, Zach, ooh. I mean, it's a little more clean cut, but I got the same shit going. That's funny. Hey, shout out Colby Rue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's the haircut of a man that doesn't work. I, I fucking work. <laughs> I know, I'm like, the hardest working dude in the scene right now, honestly. I work pretty hard. I don't know. Do you, oh, man? Damn, that's a hot take. That's a hot take, bro. <laughs> I'm not saying music wise. I'm like you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's artistic wise, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Homie works hard. Like, I got my really, ego. Really talking about this the other day, I was like. Bro's got, like, his hands in, like, everything. Like, fucking anything you can do visually, this guy fucking does it. Yeah, he's and in it. Motherf- yeah. Motherfuckers are lacking. and no mo- and anybody- Man, you know what it is? Everybody thinks so short-term. Yeah. I have a problem with thinking too long-term, I feel like. Because yeah. then I'm just like, that's being in the future. That's when people are like, oh, he's the, yeah, he's in 2030. But, <laughs> <laughs> but then you look back at those moments and then you're just like, damn, I'm glad that I fucking like yeah. put that shit. So you're not homeless again, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for sure. 
Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know if I'm the hardest. Work. I need to work harder. I think. But I, I think everyone in the scene, does. me, I, I've been fucking slacking. Like I need yeah. to start getting Every, back on I, my that's, shit. That is not. That's not much of a hot take. Everybody should needs to be working harder. Like, there's a lot of, like... I haven't dropped a song in, like, fucking two months, three months or some shit. Bro, I haven't dropped new merch in, like, nine. I have, like, a fucking full-ass catalog of just unreleased music, and I just... I keep making projects and shit, and, like, I should be releasing singles. I know that. But, like, I just like to make projects, so, like... That's what I'm gonna do. If that is what it is. If you if that's what you want to do, fuck it. I mean, just you, like, take the energy how it comes, like... I mean, shit. If you're feeling, if you're feeling it, like, do that. If you want to do something else, do that. That's how I do everything, and that's honestly why things take so long. Is I'm just like, oh fuck. Okay, I do a little bit of this, and I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna move on to this for a second. Do a little bit of that. Move on to this, and you go back and forth, and then people are like, you're irrelevant. Oh, you're not doing anything. Hey, da, da, da. No. It's like, Colby, bitch, I'm working. Colby, no. uh, just say creative people need to be creative, or you go insane. And honestly, that's fact, dude. I've that been off the fact. fucking rocker lately. It's been yeah, not okay. Damn, Colby, that's a hot. That's that's not even a hot take. That's just a real take. Yeah, that's that's yeah. legitimate. As three artists sitting in here right yeah, now, like we, he, 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 I yeah. mean, he's an artist too. Col- Colby rules. He, he's a producer. Does a lot of like sound stuff. Hey, shout out Has Colby. Offered offered help to the podcast too. So oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Col- Colby rules. Is Colby um, on the is Colby on the Discord? I don't know. Ask him. Hey, Colby. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I forget. Hey, He's close. right there. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> I got to open right. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at my phone. I don't have the camera on. I'm mindful. <laughs> Colby, if you're not on the Discord, join it. Start talking. <laughs> He's been talking to me. Yo, I got to address this shit, though. I had a whole ass mixtape that I had to fucking... I had to scrap because my computer got broken back in fucking, like, December or some shit. So, <laughs> I, I literally haven't posted shit since, like, January or some shit. That's, like, four months. Fuck. People that's longer than... People been fucking with it though. Yeah, yeah. People still been, I just been riding the wave on my last tape, bro. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> nah. Jaleel, you know Jaleel. Yeah. yeah. Right, right though. My, wave. My mixing engineer's got a, a couple songs with him. Really? Yeah. The yeah. dude from fucking yeah. Africa or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That he was like trying to bring back jerk music. Yeah. What's that one song? He's like, He's da, 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 spot, off my body. Da, 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 I like to party. Da, da, da. Rip the shirt right off my body. La di da di. I like to party. Dude, yeah. Hella jerk. My one critique is he needs to jerk more in that music video. Mm. He only does it like twice. You know about jerking? <laughs> yeah. Bro. Yeah, in middle school. I, That's uh, all I knew how to do, bro. <laughs> I, in middle school, like, it was the jerk. I and, got then sus- he, and then you go to the fucking Dougie, and that's it, bro. <laughs> Dude, I got suspended for having to jerk off in the middle school bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I had jerk offs in the middle school. <laughs> I don't think that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah man. Um... No, we got to hear some uh, Paranormal Activity by Mr. Z Smoke over there. So, since you're on, we ask guests or... Let me hit that again, though, if you will. I appreciate it. Hospitality. Do you, do you believe in paranormal stuff? Do you have any ghost stories? Oh, hold up. Before that, Shrink, I don't really know you super well. What Shrink said? No, hold up, hold up. Let me say something first oh, here. No. Shrink, I don't know you super well. You seem like a nice guy. I've done stuff with 228 back when you were running that. I'm not buying your fucking NFTs and no one else is here. All right, <laughs> cool dude. Respect you. This is my cock. Check, check, check. Suck it. Just kidding. You're actually. Really, check, check. I want to get to know you better, buddy. <laughs> check, check. What the fuck? Did did, did that just happen? Check. All right, cool. That's crazy. I don't know. That was weird. What the fuck did Shrink say? He said, "I'm not even listening. Just buy my NFTs." Shrink, <laughs> shut the front. Door, motherfucker. You ain't got NFTs. You got AI NFTs. That's what you got. Yeah, man. Is that even art? Uh, Is that even art, Shranky Poo? <laughs> Is that even art, Shranky Poo? Real art by real people, not a computer, buddy. <laughs> Even though, sh- even though Shrank is literally like the best painter I fucking know in the Dude, world. Dude, yeah, he throws down. I've seen some shit. He, he did that. He's painted me like three times, and it's the craziest paintings ever. Shrank, commission you to do an end noise. Uh, I thing. literally, I literally, I wanted him. Okay, I'll tell you my idea because he's gonna fucking do it. But I wanted like a dystopian hellscape in it to say like mute all noise, all fuck like scratchy above. And then there to be like fucked up, like, like a, uh, like a, uh, 
uh, trash heap of like TVs with green screen painted oh, in yeah, it, yeah. so that I can green screen things and have it hanging behind. That'd be and sick. have like little TVs. What the fuck? What did he say? He just said, "LOL, I have." LOL, whatever. And man. now he's not even on here anymore. <laughs> it's okay. I, I pissed him off. Um, yeah. Shout out Shrank. He's literally one of the best like painters that I know. Shrank's um, tight, from what I know. Two two eight, baby. Uh, ghost. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you ever seen a UFO? Do you know any spooky, spooky things? I I don't believe in that shit. To be honest, man. No, yeah, first one. But hold on. I th- I believe that there there probably is aliens out there. I don't believe that they they have been here because like with all the shit that we have out, like that shit would be public information. Dude, the this Pentagon. Point, um, but like <laughs> if it was like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if it was. I feel like it would be public information by now because, like, all this. It is. Pentag- like the, the Pentagon 50s came and out. 60s and shit. The Pentagon came out and said that there's unidentified object or like I did, aircraft. I did and see shit. something like that, but it was like from third party, like yeah, you so know, Vice is writing a fucking grain of salt, you know, like fucking yeah. <laughs> that type of shit. Straight but. Vice article, yeah. Vice I would like to believe that there is, you know, because like the the fucking universe is so fucking big, bro. Like, there's got to be some shit that like encounters us during our lifetime, and then it's public information. That's that's how I feel. But since there's like no real like fucking public info like information about it, probably not. (laughs) Bro, do we gotta bring do we gotta bring them when we go ghost hunting? (laughs) Yeah, you do because I'll be the skeptical motherfucker. Yeah, we need a skeptic. (laughs) That would be so funny. I'll be like, ooh, ghost. (laughs) I want to go. <laughs> I'm scared as shit. <laughs> I, I want to go uh, ghost hunt the Shanghai tunnels. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, what happened in that bitch? Like I saw, like I've been there one time. <laughs> I got 86 <laughs> from the Shanghai tunnel. Oh, like the bar? Yeah. Are you talking about the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm talking about the actual Shanghai the actual tunnels, Shanghai tunnel. not the oh, not the Shanghai tunnel. I've never been there. I have. Uh, so do Harvey's Comedy people? Club. No, yeah. Just kidding. They don't do that. I pulled the Bill Cosby up in that. Just bitch. kidding. They don't uh, do that. <laughs> Disclaimer. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Bro, I uh, did a pop up at Harvey's Comedy Club, and then the owner gave me a private tour of the Shanghai tunnels that are below they it. Ha- they actually have them there. Yeah, I think it's I blocked off after a certain way, but yeah, it was. They cool. have to be. The city came in. Some dude. I saw a video about it. Some dude found in, found a way, and started filming some shit and made a little documentary about the Portland Shanghai tunnels, and then like started doing tours and then the city was like no 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 yeah in like the early 2000s or whatever but uh no we gotta we should do that uh if not this week next weekend next weekend let's plan it out let's go do some ghost i have a feeling i have something to do next weekend but i probably don't i mean you can take one the weekend's three nights you got one (sighs) you're right (laughs) two nights oh are you going to the flow show yeah, dude. Oh, I used to I, bend it, but they haven't hit me up lately. I always fucking go to the flow show, bro. Like, oh, what? I would consider myself flow show artist, bro. <laughs> like, he's there. He's there a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, bro. I like to hang out there. Like, even if I'm not performing, fuck it. You know? Well, yeah, no, you I've wanna, definitely. You I've seen see you in some a local bucket. artist. You support some people that you know. Like it, you know. Good time. Flow show's tight. It's alright. I didn't perform. I got drunk the last time I was there. Dude, we <laughs> perform the song we made though. Bro, he flow played show? Played What's the the flow shows? Uh, Echo the Savage yeah, and fucking. Yeah. Uh, oh, I gotta I gotta know my. What is, what is it? Oh my it's god! Name. I'm gonna look like an <laughs> idiot. I'm gonna dress in all camo. If I do. You said that when you recorded it. You were just like I'm dressing in all camo. I did say that. <laughs> um. Yeah, maybe you have to go see me fucking bomb at the flow show. Oh, uh, if you perform, <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> And then you gotta get on stage and then throw t-shirts into the crowd. Bro, I'll just get butt naked. I'll just... <laughs> straight from his rack, like, he didn't even give him the... <laughs> to throw out. You're just throwing out fucking shit. <laughs> I'm digging other people, other vendors shit and throwing it out. <laughs> well, I think that's the end of it, boys and Season ladies two. and gents. Season 2, episode 11, Z-Smoke. Uh, Starch Boys. <laughs> Starch Boys for life. Um, yeah, man, I'm Quake Main, the one and only Quake Main, the the one and only sitting here next to my co-host, Guavador Vinny, 
Gu- did you say what? Oh, gu- Guavador? <laughs> what the fuck's a Guavador? Dude, I'm sorry. There's a beer at my work called Guavador Dolly, and I gotta mix that. It sounds really Guavador. Is it Guava? Yeah, it's a Guava oh, hazy. Not- my bad. My name. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm done. All right. All right. Thank you for watching. You know, Patreon stuff. I don't know. Follow us and whatever. Suck my dick. <laughs>